The body of a teenage girl killed in a Russian drone attack on Kiev was removed by rescuers early on Saturday morning. The strike on a 25-story high residential block left another five people injured, Kiev officials reported. One of the injured is a man who lived next door to the apartment hit by the drone. He's in shock, I don't know, I don't think he's wounded, but he was breathing those gases," said Irina, the sister of the injured man. According to Ukraine's emergency service, the attack damaged several apartments on the 17th, 18th, and 19th floors and 100 people were evacuated from the building. A fire started on the upper floors of the building because of the strike. В нього це в нього серце, ну, не дуже в нього стенди. Так що там, щоб його почули, що в той квартирі, де горить, ну, рядом з щось. Ну, що ти не знає. Думаю, що ні, але надишався цим. The Israeli army says that four soldiers have been killed in combat with Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon. In a statement released Thursday, the Israeli military said 11 other troops were wounded during fighting with Hezbollah the day before, without elaborating on what happened. The announcement makes Wednesday one of the deadliest days of Israel's offensive in Lebanon, which it invaded over three weeks ago after a year of exchanging cross-border fire with Hezbollah. Israel has expanded its campaign in the country on its northern border, increasing airstrikes against Hezbollah targets across the country. Israel's military casualties have begun to climb in southern Lebanon, with another four soldiers killed by a Hezbollah drone attack earlier this month. In a speech Thursday, Israel's military chief lieutenant Jen Herzi Halavai signaled that Israel hoped to wrap up its operations in Lebanon. In the north, there's a possibility of reaching a sharp conclusion, Halavai said. We thoroughly dismantled Hezbollah's senior chain of command. 